welcome back to another episode of the checklist of medical subjects which we need to study for FMG. Today we are going to be covering about medicine. So what we are going to do is I'm going to tell you the method how to cover your medicine in shortest time and in for which we are going to use a principle a very vital principle which a lot of people have used in their businesses in their lives and everywhere and today we are going to use that principle and put into work for studying medicine in the shortest available time so the principle is 80 20 principle for studying medicine this is the trick we all need to know for our lives to be easy because medicine doesn't make our life easy looking at Harrison's just lying there the two volumes of Harrison more than 3000 pages of reading it was a nightmare for me I, and I never would I never was able to pull up all my gut and to start reading it through cover to cover and page to page it just never happened I always thought I will I will I will I did other subjects but I never ended up doing 3000 pages or 4000 pages of it because that was really not possible and I just couldn't gather my strength back to read it all so what I did later on in my FMG preparation is I, I saw a lot of videos in some video I came across it 80 20 principle of life and I thought why not use this on studying medicine like medicine is something that is making that was making my life horrible because I was okay in other subjects but I was too scared to begin with medicine and I didn't know where to start and where to end because it has a lot of uh, information in it and I have no idea how to go through it and there was this fear that many questions comes in FMG from medicine. Medicine that is like a major topic, 30 questions, around 30 questions come in, 30 questions is not a joke, you can't leave 30 questions and go. Like, so uh, this is what I used and I hope you find it useful. So let's dive into it. Let's see what it is without wasting any much time. So why you should be watching this video is you can finish medicine in 36 most important topics. To be very honest, I have made it just for you like customized way like I did it as well. It has helped me and I hope you, if you haven't done medicine or even if you have read medicine, you just go through these major important topics which I'm going to be telling you in this video. Uh, so stay with me till the end in in spite of reading those 300 pages from Harrison or 1400 plus pages from Davidson you're just going to be doing 36 subject 36 uh, most important topics forgive me and going to be done with medicine it's going to give you a good boost a good confidence before your exam that yes you know medicine also and you're going to crack a lot of questions from this 80 percent questions out of your medicine things to be honest so what is this 80-20 principle? The 80-20 principle is basically known as the Pareto principle. You, if you have time or if you are interested, you can go and read on it. I'm not going to explain it here too much, how it's applicable on life. Because it has a beautiful theory, but I don't think you have that kind of time to be listening to those things. So I'm just going to dive into the major important topics and what concerns us. So the Pareto principle states that for many outcomes, roughly 80% of consequences comes from 20% of causes like whatever 80% of times whatever is happening is only happening because of 20% of something that happened okay so other names of it is also law of vital few because because of the vital few things major things happen so what are these vital fews suppose if we talk in concern of our subject then you can say that 80% of questions in the exam will come from the 20% of most vital topics in medicine you can say like for medicine questions only 20% of topics will give you reading 20% most vital topics most important topics will give you 80% of productivity 80% question you can solve it just by studying 20% of the syllabus so how to use this principle to study medicine that is the question so what we need to ask ourselves is what 20% medicine topic will I study right but that is not that easy. You need to add one more thing to it, which is the time period. Because if you don't add a time limit to your studying of medicine, I'm telling you, you're going to waste a lot, lot, lot of time. Because you can be studying medicine for all five years of your MBBS. If I don't let you study any other subject and just make you study all five years, just the medicine, in sixth year, 
trust me a professor can ask you one question out of something which you have studied very well and you can still not answer it medicine is like that so you, what you have to do is put a time limit you cannot spend all your time fortune on just medicine so set your time limit how many how much time or how many days or how many hours you are going to give it to it and then we are going to use our 80 20 principle on it so the final question becomes is what 20% of syllabus of medicine would i study in xyz time the time i have not given because it depends on a personal level if you are a fourth year fifth year student then that time may be two months for you if you are a fmg june 2021 aspirant that time may be seven days for you eight days for you so that time depends on which year or what condition of your study or which level of your study you are in so decide accordingly and move forward so sec what is important is how to build up the sections yeah you do not need to study every section of the medicine book or syllabus but the important thing to know here is you can't leave a complete section like the sections i will be giving you in the coming slides you cannot you do not have to read everything from that section but you also cannot leave the whole section right if there are seven sections you you're going to read 20% most important high yield topics from every section out of those seven sections you're not going to leave it and you're not going to read 100% of one section as well right so how to go further with your plan let's go together let's get the sections of the subjects sorted first so this is basic this is i am sure if you have studied medicine if you have seen a medicine book you would know about this what i have done is added but i have added two more compartments to it to make it more easier to sort the 80% and 20% questions out so respiratory cardiology gastrointestinal cns nephrology endocrinology what two things i have added is infections cancer infection and cancer is something i have uh, taken it out from. so let's go to respiratory medicine now the 36 topic list is going to start so please focus on it listen to what am i saying write it down you don't need a written form of it it's just 36 points you're going to write it just write it down in a paper and get started don't procrastinate and wait for a pdf or a brain map for a most important topic you don't need that and i don't even need to make that because that is of no use you can just write it in a piece of paper and get started so let's not wait and waste any further time and see what those topics in, in respiratory medicine what what is that 20% topic of respiratory medicine which will yield you 80% of the questions correct first is pulmonary embolism everything about pulmonary embolism read it well ards very important pneumothorax pneumothorax we also did in surgery tension pneumothorax simple pneumothorax comes every time something related to pneumothorax very high yield most very high yield most likely to come and interstitial lung diseases ild tb go through tb and overview is very important because tb is highly prevalent in india there are going to be questions from tb if not from medicine then for psm and medicine is psm medicine and psm are going to help you a lot copd they they love copd they often ask copd occupational lung diseases asbestosis bacillus those things those things we already studied in uh, biochemistry pathology everywhere so either you can do it from here or you can do it from there it depends on you so these are the how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay these are the topics you have to do in respiratory medicine done next is cardiovascular system for cardiovascular system rhds ms mitral stenosis mitral regurgitation but you don't have to study everything about it just only know the characteristics characteristic points like which defines the disease defines the condition and which differentiates it from others like what differentiates from ms to as or mr to as like the very critical critical points if you would want um i think uh, we can make a video on this characteristic points as well but we'll see later we'll focus on the points right now next is pericardial diseases very important mi must know must must know 
endocarditis very important infective endocarditis the vegetations the image based question comes from the vegetations above the flap on the flap where you have to know this go and look through your book and do see the pictures of it these things that much only done with cardiology gastrointestinal system hepatitis very important please go through all the hepatitis thing you can go uh, you can do your hepatitis from microbiology as well but if you're like me and you don't like study microbiology and you might have left microbiology or didn't study it that way then you can do cover your hepatitis here then acute pancreatitis very important the scoring and grading and everything then your ibd inflammatory bowel disease we did that already in surgery i'm just keeping it here so that you remember the importance of it right done that's all you have to do in gi now move to cns cns mein what do you care characteristic eeg form there are various eeg forms like 3 hertz spike 4 hertz spike juvenile seizures absent seizure they have a typical spike in eeg spikes you have to have to know that question come from those things please go and repeat it please note stroke very important dementia all forms of dementia very important alzheimers of course one question gets frequently asked from alzheimers no matter what exam you are sitting in myasthenia gravis important as well multiple sclerosis yes you have no multiple sclerosis properly that's it done with cns nephrology what you are what is the 20% cream layer of nephrology which will give you 80% of the result so it would be glomerular nephritis you cannot go to your exam without studying glomerular nephritis one question two question might come might come is an understatement will come i can say that it will come so don't leave this topic like you cannot leave breast and trauma in surgery same way you cannot leave glomerular nephritis glomerular nephritis in in medicine okay. don't leave it please don't leave it very important then acute kidney disease versus chronic kidney disease make a table try to remember the key points not everything just the key points so you have a basic idea of what's going on inside each of them wilson's is also important and all the name syndromes like barter jetlin whatever is the name syndromes these name syndromes are like always important we discussed this before us or before as well jo bhi naam wala hai jiska bhi naam hai na wo important hai whatever is named is really important bhale hi it is surgical procedure it is a surgical instrument it, it is a fracture it is a syndrome whatever has a name whatever has been named after someone or is has a name thing it's really important you cannot afford to miss those things now move to endocrinology endocrinology men syndrome men syndrome you study in medicine you study in surgery you study in pathology do it wherever you want to do it man. like jahan bhi kar sakte ho padho nahi padha hai udhar surgery mein nahi padha hai patho mein nahi padha hai no tension no worries nahi padha hai koi nahi study it in medicine i've given it it comes under the 36 topics 36 topics to pad sakte hain na like 36 topics is like achievable aisa 4000 4000 ki pages ke book mein se 36 topic is very achievable goal if you want to do it you will do it no doubt and you are going to do it and you are going to score so well and you are going to pass your exam so do men syndrome galactoria is very important they often ask questions from this topic diabetes because diabetes tb these things are very prevalent in india very common diseases you have to know it it's like basic hi nahi pata hai to kaise hoga right so very basic things diabetes to pata hona hi chahiye so if you haven't studied it well yet please go through it once it's it, it won't take much of your time half of the things you already know from newspaper your parents your grandparents your family you know it don't worry just look at it once then questions questions is important and then few chromosome that's it these are the topics five of them you have to do from endocrine next the additional topic the additional sections i added out of the system is infections and cancer right so infections what i would want you to focus is on infections in immunocompromised patients right you have to have to focus on those infections which the immunocompromised patients are ready to catch pneumonia is very important aids very important 
meningitis, the table for meningitis and the, all the characteristics in it for viral, bacterial, fungal, etc. Very important one question for sure, sure. This question comes and no matter what you do, it comes. And others will mostly be covered, whatever the other infections are. I'm not including everything because if I'll include everything in medicine, no, you will not even start studying medicine. And it will again become a burden and it will be left alone. And then while you will sit in exam, you will feel like, Yaar, I medicine to padhi nahi hai. medicine is such a huge chunk. I don't know anything about medicine. And even the simple questions of medicine, you'll mark it wrong. Trust me, that happens to all of us. Sub FMG goes through that. So don't let yourself in, be in that position. Your brain will think that you haven't studied medicine. Study that much that you fool your own brain. Ki haan padhi hai, aata hai, you'll do it. You have seen it, you'll do it. So other infections, what I was saying is other infections are covered in OBS, gyne, PSN, PDR, Derma. So you, there 20-20% high yield stuff will be covered there. Don't worry. Abhi ke liye, for medicine, you go through these topics only. Cancer, mein, what you're going to do in cancer is Kaposi sarcoma. Please go through it. They love Kaposi sarcoma. They always ask. Then HCC, hepatocellular carcinoma is important as well. Very important. Then tumor lysis syndrome. They have recently started uh, liking these things. So, tumor lysis syndrome is the new pet favorite for the examiners. Please go through it. It's, it's not much of a trouble. You'll do it. And most of the other cancers you get to study in pathology, gynae and surgery. Like gastric cancer and everything we discussed in surgery. So, they will be covered there. Don't worry about them. Just go through these here. Okay. So, that is what we have done. So, this is all your 36 topics. 3 here. 4 here. Like you can go and make a list of those, right, in a paper, according to system, or just make a list, no need for system also, you will know which system it falls in, obviously, you know, so just make those 36 list ka checkbox, and keep studying one after the other, even a small notebook would work, even some pages, a few pages of your book would work, keep make it, making it, and write only the important points, important stuff, which you think you'll forget, don't write ki diabetes ka definition kya hai abhi. You don't have that kind of time to do that. For junior students who are in third, fourth year, please go through these topics first thoroughly and then fill it up later with the other important topics, whatever falls like later on. Right? So that's it. Thank you so much. If you want to ask something, you can join my Instagram handle. We have a page and a small community of medical students. I frequently post stuff there, so you can join it there. Thank you so much and let's see each other in the next video.